Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Daisy. For today's video, I bring you another legend, this time from Venezuela. So if you guys are interested, you guys already know. Grab your snacks, grab your cobija, and let's get straight into it. So have you ever heard of the legend of El Silbon, or also known as the Whistling Man or the Man Who Whistles? Well, this legend originates in Venezuela. The legend is about a man who has terrifying characteristics, who carries a bag on his shoulder that contains human bones. It is said that it measures up to three meters high, standing out through the trees as he goes through the forest, making his famous whistle. Now, if you guys haven't heard that whistle, let me play a video for you. Decirlo. Now they say that if you hear that whistle close by, then you're not in harm's way. It actually means that it is far away. But if you hear that whistle far away, then that means run because it's near you. Now the first version that I came across of this legend dates back to the 19th century. It is said that El Silbon was a spoiled child that always cried to get what he wanted and as he got older his behavior just continued to get worse to the point that one day he wasn't pleased with the food that his mother prepared for him. He said that he wanted to eat deer and of course being the spoiled child that he was his father promised him that he would bring deer for dinner. So off went his father to go hunt his son a deer. Meanwhile, El Silvon was waiting back at home. But as the day went on, he grew tired of waiting for him. So he decided to go look for his father. Later finding him, realizing that his father would come back empty-handed. And in an act of rage, El Silvon attacked his father, resulting in taking his life. He took a knife and began to gut him like an animal, wrapping up his remains to give to his mother to cook for for him. His mother, not realizing what had occurred, began to cook what she believed to be deer parts, but started to notice that the deer parts weren't cooking like usual. She slowly began to suspect the unthinkable. She asked her son, what happened to your father? And without any hesitation, El Silbon confessed to his mother what he did, showing no remorse. So his mother cursed her son and both his mother and his brother released their dog to attack him and put chile and lemon on his wounds to burn him. And since then, El Silbon was condemned to wander without rest, only carrying a sack on his shoulders with his father's bones. But now, the versions of this legend change depending on the country where they're being told. Like the following version tells a story that El Silbon murdered his father because he found his father mistreating his wife. Blinded by rage, he began to attack his father, taking his life. His grandfather, upon discovering what he did, tied him up to a tree, began to torture him with whips, 
and unleashed his dog to attack him. And similar to the first version, he was condemned to wander this world, carrying his father's bones. Even though certain details vary from version to version, the result remains the same, leaving El Silbon to be condemned for the rest of eternity. It's said that El Silbon targets different victims depending on the version of the legend. Some say womanizers, alcoholics, pregnant women, and some say anyone could be his next victim. Legend has it that he stops outside the houses, counting the bones of his father. If you see El Silbon, nothing bad will happen. But if you hear the whistles of El Silbon, you or someone close to you will die. But as always, if you heard a different version of this legend, let me know down below. And just like other legends, many people have encountered El Silbon. A lady that goes by Doña Ninfa recounts a story that was told to her from a lady who once was her employee. She told her that one morning she was making her husband breakfast before he went off to work. She walked outside to where her stove was and that's where she was confronted by an extremely tall man sitting his knees reaching her head while also wearing a tall hat. She ran out petrified but later to find that the strange being that she believes to be El Silbon left giant foot marks on top of the ashes of the stove. El marido se iba de madrugadita a, a trabajar y ella le hacía su avillo para que se llevara su viandita porque él no venía sino en la noche. Una madrugada y que se para ella como a las 5 con una lamparita de querosén. Y en lo que entra hacia la cocina y mira el fogón, ella dejaba siempre el fogón tapado, siempre en los campos dejan las brasas y tapan con ceniza los fogones. Sí. Entonces ella, cuando miró, vio un hombre sentado que las rodillas le llegaban a la cabeza con un sombrerote, chibudo. Cuando ella es que vio ese aparato, Zumbó la lámpara hacia allá y pegó un grito, cayó privada. El marido salió corriendo y la recogió privada. Mujer, ¿y qué te pasó? Él no vio nada. Cuando ella gritó y zumbó la lámpara, aquel aparato de la cocina se perdió. Pero sí que dejó marcada en la cocina, en el fogón, arriba del fogón. Eh, pero sí que dejó marcada las patas. Eso me lo contaba también esa mujer y el marido que se llamaba Ildefonso. Decía, si sí, es verdad, eso lo vio Nicolasa, yo la recogí privada del suelo. Ahí queda eso, no sé si eso es una realidad, pero eso lo contaban ellos, se lo contaba ella, mi mamá también, del silbón. The YouTube channel user Victor Sanchez posted two videos where he captured the infamous whistle of El Silbón that was taken in Venezuela. Mama huevo, como suena esa mierda. El Silbón. Marico. A ver, se escucha como más cerca. Se escucha como más cerca. Más cerca. Escucha que viene más cerca. Do you guys think that Victor captured El Silbon's whistle? If you look at his YouTube channel page, you see three videos. Those two and one of him being in Venezuela, a normal video. That really creeped me out. Once I saw that he doesn't post anything else, he didn't hasn't post anything else, I was like, hmm, maybe he did capture El Silbon's whistle. But what do you guys think? So that was it for today's video. Do you guys have a certain legend, a specific legend that you would like for me to talk about? Let me know down below or even email me at daisyspooks at gmail.com. I would love to hear your guys' suggestions. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys all in my next one. Bye.